Hi there, my name is Peter Scargill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract um, Twitter information into Excel. What you're looking at in this example, uh, this is something I wanted for the FSB. And what we have is we have quite a large number of Twitter accounts. I wanted to know who was following each account, how many followers they had, how many tweets they'd done, when they opened the account, and the date of the latest tweet, so that I could then do some calculations and a nice pretty graph from there to compare different areas to see how they're doing. One of the problems I had with traditional tools was extracting information about sufficient Twitter accounts. Uh, there are something like 40 uh, or 41 accounts here. So what you see in front of you uh, is a working product. That's dynamic data that, that changes dynamically uh, as the uh, number of tweets change. So how did I do this? Well, the first thing you need, obviously you need Excel. Um, but the first thing you really need um, is a free add-in for Excel called SEO Tools. Uh, you'll see that on the, uh, the link here, uh, the, the, the browser. Um, so you have to install that and the only tricky bit is you've got to figure out whether you're using um, the 64-bit or 32-bit version of uh, your Excel. So when you go to the download page it's going to first of all ask you which one uh, you want to use and then it's going to give you a description of how to install it, all of which takes just a few minutes. Alright, so Within this uh, tool work, there are a couple of functions which are useful. One which can extract XML from um, a, a, a web page. Another one which can extract JSON. So those two names might not need, mean anything to you. But you can call um, Twitter with an address called an API, uh, passing the name of an account to that page and it will return information in one of two ways either as an XML screen or as a JSON screen. XML is very popular it's just a text format um, but it's not very efficient and some people like Google are cutting back on that so the other alternative is JSON. Well what's all that about? If we take a look at um, an API call, if you if you look at this address here, uh, I've called uh, um, there it is there. I've called Twitter, and I've told it that the screen name of the account I'm interested in is FSBHQ, and it returns this mess of data here. So if you look at it, you can see some useful information. Uh, screen name is FSB. Location is London, uh, and you can get in there the number of followers, the number of friends, and lots of different information in there. But how do you get that out in a format so useful to you in a spreadsheet? Well, um, along comes uh, the function call in this tool I've just given you. If you have a look at followers, You'll see there a formula. I've used indigo because it's a number. Uh, JSON path on URL and then some gobbledygook and then friends count. And that's what I've got in there. You just need that routine. Why have I got this gobbledygook? Well, it's FSBHQ, but of course you've got to give it the full address that I add on here. So the easiest way to do that rather than have huge long addresses in here there is the address there, the Twitter com screen names equals. And so in here, all I'm doing is adding that fixed line to whichever one of these addresses uh, that I want. So that's simple enough. Um, I'll show you two examples. So if you look at following, that's friends count. This one's exactly the same but it's followers count.
This one's the same, but statuses count. This one's the same, but created at. Don't need indigo wrapped around that because obviously it's it's text. It's not actually date format, it's just text. Created at. Now, slightly more complicated. The latest tweet is a kind of a, it's, it's like a sub-expression. Um, and if we take a look at that, you'll see I've used dollars status dot dot created at so it's the created at belonging to a particular status item what on earth does all of that mean okay well if we go back and look at this mess there is a free online viewer that lets you view that mess so you know you just highlight and copy that information and go to this json online viewer there's the original text and this is what it looks like prettied up. So there is our account, our FSPHQ account. And there's an item there for the latest status. And under that, it's created at this um, date. Hence that slightly more convoluted piece of code. Status dot dot created at. That's to get that information back from there. Status created at so as you can see i've used screen name as loads of other information you can you can pull up if you want including profile image and all sorts of stuff i'll leave you to figure um, that out so there's your free um, json viewer there's an example of uh just a screen a call to uh, twitter and Thanks to the free SEO tools, there that is in action. And all I did for all the rest of these was just to select this lot and copy uh, down. Uh, the reason there are dollars on item L2 is um, in each of these, we're looking at a different line. But in catenating the two together, I don't want l2 l3 l4 i want to use l2 every time so that's the only reason for for that uh, slightly more complicated um setup of cell l2 um and there you uh, there you have it